guys, Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Hopefully this video finds you all doing well. I'm doing great recently. It hasn't always been that way though, so I'm sending some love and positivity to anybody out there who needs it, who needs a pick-me-up right now. It's hard to convey, you know, those, those true emotions that I want to reach out to people who need it out there because I know there's a lot of people struggling right now, uh, but it's hard to do that through a, a YouTube video. So we just try our best here. Me personally, a year or two ago, I went through a really, really dark time in my life mentally. Uh, I isolated myself and it just wasn't good. It was, I was in a bad spot for the first time really ever in my life. I've gone through awful tragedies in my life. I've gone through a lot, uh, but really everything kind of just added up and I had been pushing everything down for so long, ignoring it, just working a lot and focusing on distractions that fin finally everything kind of hit me and it was really tough. Uh, but I did see a therapist. I got put on some medication as well and I'm doing a lot better right now. So just know that if you're going through something, it, it, it will and it, it can get better. Uh, sometimes I look back at where I was 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and I don't even recognize that person. So suffice it to say, people change and you can change too. Uh, today, no easy transition from that, guys. But today, we're going to talk about really one of the better nukers in the game, PvE and PvP. This guy does it all. And as Constantine the Dayborn, he received a buff in the last balance changes. It wasn't a massive buff, but I've actually been seeing, even before those balance changes, I've been seeing a lot more of Constantine the Dayborn just everywhere inside the entire game. Today, we're going to take him out for a test run and see what this guy can do. If you pull him from a Void Shard, it used to be, at least I was, disappointing. You're like, Constantine the who? Who? Hey! You suck, but you're a new non dupe legendary. Welcome to the squad, Constantine the Dayborn. But he's actually really good now. So, how good is he, Ash? How good is he? Well, let's compare him to some of the other best nukers in the game. This guy has an incredibly hard hitting A1, one of the hardest in the game. Attack one enemy, place an extra hit if the target is under any debuffs. Check out his multipliers on this, guys. Uh, thanks to hellhades.com here. We have a 3.6 multiplier on the first hit, a 3.1 on the second hit. As long as they have a debuff, that is insane. Let's compare that to Turvold's A1. He has a three attack on his A1. Granted, it is a two-time guaranteed hit, but that's a lot of damage. Turvold considered to be one of the hardest hitting A1s in the game, and Constantine's got him beat as long as the target's under any debuff. So that automatically starts things out by talking about he's great on an ally attack team. He's great on retribution in longer battles, such as against clan boss for a raw damage. Uh, and on an ally attack, counter attack, you name it, right? He's going to be fantastic because of that A1. On his A2, Rune Shatter attacks all enemies two times. Each hit will ignore 10% of each target's defense for every leech, decrease defense, and block active skills they are under. So today, I'm just going to have decreased defense on those champions that we attack in the arena. But man, it'd be cool to put a leech and a decreased defense and a block active skills. Why not? And see what he can do here. I also don't have him, you know, incredibly geared out compared to what I usually do on the channel here uh, in the for end game content. <laughs> you still don't trust me, huh? We have him in a couple cruel sets. I would prefer Savage on this champion. So just kind of go ahead and notate that. I haven't ch changed any of the gear that I originally had him on uh, for today's video. But anyway, guys, this has is a two-time hitter each hit has a 2.5 multiplier that is god-like damage and he has a built-in block revival on his passive right so uh before we get to that though his a3 ability quietude attacks one en uh, enemy before attacking steals all debuffs from the target then transfers all the debuffs from this champion to the target decrease the cooldown of quietude skill by two turns the same skill if the attack kills an enemy so that's really cool. You can get it back to back. That makes him with a 6.5 multiplier, boys and girls. That makes him one of the best single target nukers in the game. Let's compare him to Little Miss Annie. Her attack, her toys don't lie, or excuse me, not that's her passive. Her play date attack is one of the hardest hitting nukes in the game, single target. It's a 5.7 multiplier. Granted, it will ignore 25% of the target's defense built in there, so you have to take that into consideration. But that's a 5.7, guys. This is a nuke. We can basically one-shot anybody in the arena with an ability like this. 
Uh, and then enemies from the Undead Horde, Demon Spawn, and Knights Revenant factions killed by this champion cannot be revived. So he has built-in revive against the Siffies out there, against the Rotos out there, against all the Demon Spawn champions, Duchess, for example. So in the arena especially, you can get some nice utility. This was changed. This was buffed. It used to be the first sentence but only if Vlad is on the same team. Now, if Vlad's on the same team, everybody is block revive, okay? So I kind of think that Vlad is a, I don't know, not an awful champion. He's bad for a void legendary, I think. But he's in a vacuum. I kind of like Vlad. Is it kind of weird that I like a champion that probably 99% of you guys absolutely hate? Aura, attack and all, and arena balance, because I'm at 30%. We're not really not going to be using that one here. We do have Helm Smasher Mastery on this champion. Take a look at the masteries that I went with. Kind of an arena build with Ruthless Ambush as well. As a matter of fact, I would actually like to redo this and add Opportunist to the masteries. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and do that. This is how I like to build. I'm just going to do it with you guys. This is how I like to build arena nukers. Same masteries there, but Ruthless Ambush. Then we go down we pick up opportunist and then we try to have somebody see seeing the uh the team before he goes right so we can go around this lane we can go bring it down uh da -da -da -da, targets a higher max hp yeah 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 let's do that let's go to uh i don't want to know i want to go to methodical here and then we'll go down to helm smasher so i also want to pick up uh retribution on this champion so let's just go ahead and pick up improve parry is great decrease the damage received by this champion by eight percent when this champion is hit with a critical hit that's always going to be the case in the arena by their nuker so nice to have that we'll go with delay death and then we'll go with retribution get those counter attacks and let's just go with uh i guess blood shield maybe or kill streak eh, blood shield Kill streak. Let's go kill streak. Let's go kill streak. Okay, so we redid the masteries here, guys. Uh, really quickly, I already mentioned two cruel sets. We went crit damage on the uh, the gauntlets. We have attack percentage on the chest, and then we have speed on the boots. Looking for that crit rate on the substats there. For the most part, we don't have them built very fast at all. Uh, just trying to maximize this damage essentially. 198 speed, 103, 238. A little bit of HP, a little bit of a lot of bit of attack, 5500, and a little bit of defense. Is, is base defense is not too bad at 11. 78 and his base speed is not bad at 105 as well all right guys let's stop talking about this dude let's start using him right let's start out in the arena guys i want to start out by highlighting his a3 ability his a3 ability let's let's start one shotting some guys huh take it off auto this is kind of my main i've been using this team forever you know uh, having a champion like a CC, it can run like a Cornelia here because the cool thing is Madame Suri or Madame Ceres, however you want to say it, she can remove all the buffs from all enemies. So you don't need Kaimar on this team. He's nice to have though, don't get me wrong, right? So let's start out with the Quietude. Who do you think is the tankiest on this team? Magnar, probably Vogoth, right? The nice thing is he's void, affinity, so it doesn't matter like really who we're attacking. But it doesn't matter who we attack, we're going to kill him no matter what. 115k block revive. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. All right, so let's just go ahead and speed boost here. I don't think we're going to even lose anybody, so we can we can go ahead and do this. We can boost again, and then let's actually going to come, let's come in here. There we go, Ash. Let's come in here and try to one-shot somebody else, right? We're highlighting the, uh, the A3 first here. Quietude, we didn't even need to reset because we killed an enemy, so it reduces the skill, so we're going to have it up every time. Let's hit... Uh, Demon Spawn, Block Revive on Magnar too. 185k! Dude, this guy's a monster. So, people know him for his A3, A2, right? Uh, and, and certainly probably going to be using that more often. But good god. 203k! What a monster! <laughs> Constantine the Dayborn! Good god, man! Good god! Alright, alright. I'm fawning over this dude. All right, nice to have that block revive in there. If you compare him to other block revivers, multipliers is going to be insane, right? Uh, think about it, and it applies to all of his skills. His A1, his A2, and his A3. His multiplier, Foley's, is a 4 multiplier on his AoE, on Sealed Fate. Uh, we've got that beat as well. So let's go for another tankier team here, guys. We need something a little bit more challenging. Let's step up in difficulty here. And this time, let's test out his A2 in the arena, guys. I gotta say though, CCing the enemy team as a setup and just using his A3 is compelling as well. So we block, or did we not block a, a revive? We're gonna be able to block revive on these two. Not those two though. <laughs> not those two, unfortunately. So let's come right back in and let's get rid of this, uh, get rid of this swift parry. 
All right, man, that's not smart. Not smart. Not smart. Paris, go crown Ash. Come on, bro. Uh, let's actually kill her. <laughs> we don't want Skull Crown ruining our party here. All right, now let's come in. Boom, boom. There we go. So block revive on the Duchess. So his survivor and Sill isn't going to be able to pick up Duchess. Nicely done, nicely done. Take care of the team. Let's do one more of his A2 and one more of his A3, guys. So let's go in against. Let's find a tankier team here, guys. Give me like a Siffy Rota. There we go. This is a little bit better here with a Lydia and a Siffy. Uh, let's come in here and what should we do? A3 time? A3, I think I've already proven that he can one-shot anybody and everybody in this game with it. He's not even in Savage gear. Uh, but I kind of want to start out by one-shotting Siffy here. Sorry, Siffy. We love you. But we're going to block uh, Revive or deny Revive on you because you're undead Horde. Boom. 127k, block revive, game over. <laughs> now listen, uh, Lydia will ignore block revive, so it's not game over, but it's 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 game over, right? All right, here we go, guys. Let's go, this time, let's go with the A2. We'll combine, we'll combine them both in this arena battle. And then I want to show you him on an ally attack team because, boy, I had a lot of fun with him. There we go. Everybody's toast, man. What a great champ, huh? What a great... Is there any other difficult teams here? I guess this one could be a little difficult. Let's go one more here. And then I'm going to take you into the highest Doom Tower floor that we have available. And I'm going to use them on an ally attack team. And again, I mentioned this at the top there. Everybody, bye-bye. Uh, I mentioned this at the top of the video, guys. But this dude, if you're lucky enough to have him, you can use him in Clan Boss as your damage dealer. I might have him replace Turvold. I don't see any reason not to. He's going to deal more damage overall, I think. Uh, compared to Turvold, and that's who I run on my main arena team. Here's my main, or excuse me, my main clan boss team. So the, the clan boss team, I'm using the Mythfu right now. And I'm using Turvold as my DPS. I'm going to switch him out for Constantine the Dayborn, and I will let you guys know in the pinned comment of this video uh, the damage comparison, but I'm pretty confident that Constantine, how could he not out-damage Turvold, you know? Uh, anyway, Turvold does have a hard-hitting judgment on his A3, but we have Quietude on our A3 as well. Uh, let's go to... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Doom Tower Ash. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right. So I ran him in this double ally attack team, right? With Martyr. And then we have Baron in there as well. Now, is that the team that I used? Yeah, it is the team that I used. Okay. So I had, last night, like the third or fourth fastest team on this squad. Now I'm sure I'm not even in the top whatever. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm off the leaderboard, I'm sure. Uh, but I like, you know what, guys? I like doing that crap, you know? Secret skill unlocked. I like uh, going for... Do you guys do that? Do you guys compete with your... This is A1, by the way. Boom, boom. 65, 65. Block revive. Sounds good. Do you guys compete with your clan mates, too, on, on Hydro or anything else in the game? Doom Tower bosses. Oh, come on. We got an extra turn. It's going to ruin my turns, man. Sky Piercer. Boom. Sayonara. All right. Here we go. So we've gotten two... The Eternal Dragon here. And again here, check out his A1. Of course he doesn't join the attack. Come on, dude, Constantine, this is your chance, man. So I have really the triple ally attack, counter attack combo going on right now, right? I've got Longbeard, I've got Creela, and then I have Martyr with the counter attack as well on the squad. Uh, I didn't even notice. Okay, let's see his A3. His A3 is hitting for 85k. Not too bad. Let's see his A1 on this counterattack. Keep in mind the A1 damage is going to be mitigated. What is it? 30%, I believe, on counterattack and ally attack. But again, that's 30, that's 40, around 80k. Not too bad. Now let's put increased attack buff on him. Should have probably just let off with that one. And then let's come in with the A1 here. Let's go in with another A1. And then I'm, I think rather than the a2 i think we're just going to go right to the a1 here two time hitter there we go 69 79 that's really really solid damage there guys getting a couple retribution procs there not too bad uh let's go in with a uh yeah sure and then do this and then do ally attack Join in this time, man. We need you. No. No. 
Don't do me like that, man! I mean, come on. That sucks. It's three random allies and two times he was excluded. That's not cool, man. All right, let's finish him. Boom, 133K on the first shot. There we go, guys. Uh, so my man Constantine obviously carrying the majority of the damage here. Actually, all apologies to Baron on his Sky Piercer on that second wave. But yeah, guys, I mean, think about it, right? Clan boss, Hydra clan boss, anywhere that you need a nuker, this guy is incredible. He's the real deal. Let me know what you think of this champion, guys. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Thanks, and as always, take care, guys.